Hi, do you know that over the last few months, many Kenyans have been cutting their expenses by more than 50%? Yes, indeed, you heard that right. With the rising cost of living, many Kenyans have been forced to drastically cut their expenses in order for them to keep up with the times and still stand a chance at achieving their financial goals at a time when cost of living is rising but incomes are not rising. Now, a recent survey released by TransUnion shows that 56% of Kenyan households have been cutting down on their non-essential expenses over the last few months. Now, one interesting fact that came out of the report is that it is the millennials and the Gen Zers who have had the most drastic cuts in non-essential expenses. Now, millennials who represent those people who are aged between the age of 27 and 42 cut their non-essential expenses by a whopping 66%. Gen Zers who are those aged 26 and below cut their expenses by a record 55%. Now, the older generation called boomers, who are the people aged between 59 and 68, only cut their non-essential expenditure by just 35%. Now, according to the survey, these cuts in non-essential expenditure are majorly affected dining out, eating out, which is like including bringing food to work, travel, non-essential travel, uh, including driving to work, and entertainment. The other things that uh, people have been cutting down on also include issues like cancelling or reducing spending on digital services, and cancelling subscriptions, and also memberships like that gym membership that you may not be really using. Now, what does this report really tell us? One thing that we can learn from this report is that clearly younger Kenyans have more non-essential expenditure than older Kenyans. So the more uh, young that you are and you have an income, the more likely you are that you are spending your, a lot of money on stuff that are not essential. Second thing is that we are learning from this report is when your back is against the wall, some of the expenses that you would have thought are essential become very obvious areas to cut off. Like today you might say uh, that gym subscription instead of working from home or buying food from the Kibanda or ordering in during uh, lunch, you would have thought, but that's essential. But from the cuts that you are seeing, 66% reduction in an essential expenditure, it means there are many places where your money is going today that you think is essential, but it's not. So it's time probably to start reviewing that. Then number three that you're learning from this report is if you're a business, if you're a business, you want to pay attention to where people are directing their expenditure so that if you see a drop in purchases in your business, you're not wondering what's happening. And instead, you might want to angle yourself towards where people are redirecting their expenditure. Now, what can you do yourself? I think at this point, cutting expenses is not really an option, it's about how you do it. And how you can only do this is through budgeting. Create and stick to a budget. And if you are not very used to doing budgeting, one of the simplest budgeting methods is through the 50-30-20 budget rule, which divides your net income in three parts. 50% goes to your essential expenses, your rent, your transport, and so on. 30% goes to your wants, which is now like dining out those subscriptions and memberships, and 20% goes to savings. Now, what you want to do is rein in on this 30%. During these tough times, you want to really keep that, uh, the proportion of your income that goes to wants to a minimum because you want to be moving that 30% to the 20% savings, and you're not just savings for the sake of it because as uh, we don't, you don't want your money to lose value, you want to save so that you can invest. If it's a side business that you need to produce so that you can increase your income, then move those ones. That gym subs subscription, that fuel that you're spending going to the office in a couple of months could actually help you launch a business. Or finally, 
uh, pay a down payment to buy that shamba that you may need to do so that eventually you don't have to pay rent. Money254.co.ke has written about this topic of managing uh, expenses and even about creating secondary sources of income. Mm -hmm. Click on the link provided to learn more.